Good morning, everyone. You're on um, Pei Aleph at the top. Just a chazer, we said yesterday that we're dealing with a case where you had two animals. One was a toda and one was a tamura. Just don't get too close to me. I'm going to grab random things from you and use them as my... Uh, <laughs> in the first year, a guy had a coffee. I think Jacob had his uh, scarf. We end up using all this stuff. So you have a toda and a, and a tamura, and one of them gets lost. So what happens next? So now we got this animal. We have this korban, which is either a toda or a tamura. We don't know which one. So we said you can't bring lechem because if you bring lechem, then it might be a toda, it might be a tamura. Then it's then it's then it's lechem in the azara, and you can't not bring lechem because if it's a toda, so then it needs lechem. So we had different uh, different suggestions what to do. So the last suggestion on the bottom was Levi said to Rebbe, what should you do? You should bring another behema. Here's another behema. And you should bring lachem with this behema. And you should say, if this is Tamura, the original one, then this is a toda and a lachem. And if this is a toda, then here's the lachem. And this is an extra toda. And he said, where's your brain? That's how he ended. You're missing the brain. This, the last this would be one. a Moser Toda. This would be a leftover Toda. This would be an extra Toda. And this is for a, a, not an obligatory Toda. <laughs> it's not okay. obligatory. It's so an extra Toda which doesn't need Lechem. Why doesn't it need Lechem? Because a Moser Toda, we said, doesn't need Lechem. If you bring a Moser Toda, bring an extra Toda doesn't it's, need it's, it's not. I it's, thought it'd be it's not a regular it. Toda. It's not considered to be a regular Toda. So the halach is that by a Moser Toda, it doesn't need Lechem. Because if it's Kadosh, because if you think that it's Lechem, because the Lechem that you're bringing needs to be, maybe it's Toda Lechem. Maybe it's not. So you're not sure whether it's Kadosh or not. Says the Gemara, so the Gemara asks, V'chi mafrishin t'chila limotaros. So like you're saying, uh, you, you don't lichat t'chila, go ahead and say, I'm going to have an extra Toda. Because then you have the whole thing. Really, you shouldn't be doing it because you should bring a regular Toda with Lechem. And over here, you bring an extra Toda and you're sort of like, Getting around the system. So the Gemara says, Yasser Rav Yitzhak, number four possibility. Yasser Rav Yitzhak, Bar Shmuel, Bar Masa, Kameder, Rav Nachav, Yasser, Vikamar, Vilese, Behema, Vilachem. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to bring another Behema with Lachem. Vilema, Iach, Dekaima, Tmurahi, Hatoda, Vahalachma. Viach, Dekaima, Todahi, Halachma, Vahat, have a Tmura. So now the difference is we're not making this a Moser Toda, which is what we're not supposed to do. We're making it a Tmura. So as you you're not supposed to do that either. Amar Lay, Ani, answer me, Mari, my master. Our boy in Bekatfe, Bekasha, we know that what? If you designate a Tamura, even though after the fact it becomes Kadosh, you get Malkus for designating a Tamura. You're not supposed to designate a Tamura. Therefore, you're telling me, Lechad Chilo, we're going to bring something that might be a Tamura. We're not going to bring something to solve our little problem. We're going to bring and make ourselves the guy, maybe Chayev Malkus. Says Gemara, bad idea. Source number five. Ravi La. Chalish, Ali Gabe, Abai, Rabban of Yasser, Kamre, Im Isa, Lidur of Yochanan, De Amar, Chutzel, Chomas, Azar, Kadosh. Getting back to what the doctor was saying, well, there's an opinion that says that if you have the bread outside of the Choma, it's still Kadosh. We always thought you have to bring the bread inside the base of Magdish, inside the Azara, and bring it with the Toda. If you hold that the bread could be outside, then you get around the problem of what? Of having chulin in the azara, in case this is not a toda. Therefore, what do you do? Lay se lechem, velosva chutz lechomas azara. So now you have this. It might be a tamura, it might be a toda. So what do you do? Just bring lechem and put it outside of the azara. And say what? Velema and say, ihach dekaim a toda hi halachma. If this is a toda halachma anya, this is the lechem. And if it's not a toda, what? V'ilo leipuk l'chulin. If it's not a toda, then we'll use a l'chulin. It's very nice, but Lamai said, what do you do with the toda now? I mean, what do you do with the bread now? The Mar says, well, mishum ika arba lahanif. So now, what the, the problem is, again, everything that we're doing, this, this whole suggestion is we don't know whether this is a toda or a tzmura. So we need to cover both possibilities. So the Mar says, very nice. So now you brought this lachem, and it's, if it's meant to be a toda, then it's for the toda. If it's meant to be a tamura, then it's meant for... But now what do you do? So Lamai says, okay, very nice. You brought the lachem. It's sitting outside the azara. What do you do now? Well, if it's a tamura, nothing, then you can eat it. But if it's a toda, you can't eat it. So you have to be choshish. What do you have to do with it if it's a toda? You have to do the wavings. Well, how do you do the wavings? The wavings have to be inside. But I can't bring it inside because it <laughs> might be 
Pulin. Says a Gemara, Mishum Dika Arbel Hanif Echila Vid Lin Lin Afin Hu Abra. If I start doing it outside, Lifna Hashem Ksiv. I can't go ahead and do the waving outside. Gavai, I can't bring it inside. Kamaya Chul Nazar. I might be bringing Chulin into the Azara if this is a Tmura. Hilka Chlo Efshar. Fifth try, fifth strike. Sixth try. Maskala Rav Shisha Breda Ravidi. Im Isa. Like we said, if it's correct, that which Chizkiah says, assuming Chizkiah is right, if you bring 80 loaves with a toda and you don't specify anything, then 40 of them become kadosh by definition, and 40 are meant as a uh, replacement, as alternates, in case the original 40 are lost. So what do you do? That's what he holds. So what should you do? Lay say behema. Bring a behema. Vilay say. Shmonim, running out of stuff. Vilei say shmonim and bring eighty things with it. Forty and forty bahada. Vilema. Ihach de kaima todahi. If the original one is toda, then what? Hanami to have a toda. Then the second one should be toda. Vha shmonim de tarvayu. And the eighty that I'm bringing, forty for this one and forty for this one. This is not a Moser Toda. This is just another toda. The other case of the Moser Toda, which is I'm bringing an extra toda to be yotze, but it's not a full fledged toda. Because in the other case, doctor, we're only we're bringing 40 bread with it. Here where we have the extra bread, we can make it a full-fledged toda. If this one is a tamura, then it doesn't need bread. And only what? And only 40 of the 80 will be kadosh. And the other 40 will not be a problem now of bringing chulin into the azara, because the only problem of bringing chulin into the azara when you have a possibility that it's nothing. But these 40, at the very least, can be what? The Allah is that if you bring as a replacement, if you bring as a potential replacement, then it's not a problem. Mishum to come in might, ba'chila darbaim. Mar says you still can't do it, even though you think you got a good idea. Problem is, now you're stuck, because what's going to happen? You're going to bring this, and you're bringing 80. So you say, if this is a toda, you got 40, 40, good to go. If it's not a toda, then you got 40 with the leftovers, and you're good. Problem is, what's going to happen now with this extra 40? Well, it might be a toda. So therefore, it might belong to the Kohen. So he's not going to eat it, though, because he's going to say, well, I can't eat it because it might belong to this one. This one definitely belongs to this one. No problem. This one can definitely be eaten. You give truma, you give one of each loaf to the Kohen, and he eats it. But this one, it either belongs to this, which is a toda, or it's alternate, which doesn't belong to the Kohen. If it belongs to the coin, he would eat it, but he doesn't know that it belongs to him or not because it might be a tamura, and then this is the extra, and he doesn't get a piece of this. So he's not going to eat it because it might not belong to him. Well, the Baal can't eat it either because what? It might be a toda. Why can't the Baal just give it to the coin? Because the coin's not going to eat it. Why? Because it might be extra, and it doesn't belong to the Kohen. No, no, I'm saying it doesn't to give belong him as a gift. to the Kohen. Because you can't say that I'm giving it to you as a gift. You have to say I'm either, because he's either giving it to him as, you can't just say I'm giving this to you as a gift or as truma. Why? He's either giving it to him as truma or he's giving it to him as a gift. If, if I'm giving it to you as a gift, then he wasn't Yotze truma that he needs to give. Yeah, if it's a and he doesn't wave it. He has to wave it. truma that I'm giving to you as truma. Okay. If it's not... Uh, I don't need to give it to you as truma. I'm giving it to you as a matana. Okay, the Gemara doesn't... doesn't. Yeah, but then he has to wave it. And I don't know what you're He has to wave it, and, and, and he has to start doing it, everything with it. I mean, Lamaisa, it's, 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 it's a lump to shakap, but uh, I don't know. The Gemara doesn't like it. So it says the Gemara, Mishim, to come in might, ba'chila darboim. The problem is, so now the Kohen's not going to eat it, but the problem is what? Well, he's not going to eat it either. He could eat 36 of the 40 loaves, but he can't eat all 40 because four of the loaves might belong to the Kohen. So what's going to happen? You're going to have at least four loaves, even if the owner eats the other 36, which he can. The other 36 he could definitely eat, because at most, four of them belong to the coin. You're going to have four loaves, which are going to left with what? Four loaves, which nobody are going to eat. Therefore what? You're going to end up bringing about no, sir. You're going to bring about no, sir, for four loaves, which you're not allowed to do. So that's a Gemara, six strikes, and you're still not out. Amalei Ravashi Lerav Kahana. Imisa. Again, we're still with the original case. We don't know if this is a Tamura or whether this is a Toda. Im Isa, the Red Biochan and the Amar, Hifresh Chatas Milberas Viold. This is a little bit of a difficult one. Try to understand it. If you set aside a Chatas which is pregnant and has a baby, Ratzab Mishaper, Ratzab Vlada Mishaper, then you could either be Mishaper with the Chatas. You only need one animal for your Chatas, for your sin. So either you could take the baby and be Mishaper, or the mother and be Mishaper. And then what? And the other one goes and is Tira. The other one does in Tomos. The other one is Tira, grazes in the field. Lese Behema Milberas. So now we're going to bring the really big one. We're going to bring the uh, the big Gemara. We're going to bring the pregnant one. We're going to bring a pregnant a pregnant behema. Okay, we got all the props. Lacey behema milberes. 
V'yomtila at shetelid. Then wait till it has a baby. So now it's got this and it's got the baby. Ve what? V'leise shmonim mahada. And now bring 80 with it. Bring 80, 80 things. V'leima. Ihach dechayim atmurahi ha'uvlada todahi. Now I got the baby and the mother and I got 40 and 40. V'hashmonim detarvayu. V'ihach dechayim atodahi Hanami todahi, then the mother will be a toda. Vahashmonim de Tarvayu, who I got the 40 and the 40. And the baby won't be a toda. Vahai lave moser de toda. It'll be a moser de toda. And it's not a problem to bring a baby that's a moser de toda. Even though we say we don't like bringing extra toda stam, which won't need bread, we don't, a baby's not a problem because at the time that you're designating everything, it's part of the mother. Therefore, it has a certain, uh, a certain kedusha from the mother. Alts the mother, it's consecrated. And therefore, bringing this moser toda is not a problem. Finally, we found a solution. Amr man le maland amr biochna named Shia. Or no, you're assuming that Rabbi Yochanan holds that if you leave the fetus unconsecrated, it remains unconsecrated. Dilma im shiru eno mishur. Maybe it doesn't remain unconsecrated. Find a time with Rabbi Yochanan. Dama ardem ischaper b'shvach hakdesh. No, maybe Rabbi Yochanan is not telling you that you could do this whole shtick. All that he's teaching you is to tell you that when a baby is born, it doesn't belong to hakdesh. We would have thought again, like you said yesterday, that when a baby is born, by definition, it belongs to hakdesh and you can't use it. Rabbi Yochanan's chiddush is that when a baby is born, it doesn't belong to hakdesh. Nothing to do with our case, and therefore. Back to square one, seven strikes, and you're still not out. Says the Gemara, last chance, Ravina Ikla Lidimahuria. Amale Ravdimi Bure de Ravuna Midihuria. The Ravina Velese Behema. Let's bring a Behema. Velema, Hare Alai. What happens when you say Hare Alai? Now it becomes a full fledged Toda. Velese Behema Chrisa. And now bring. Can I have that Gemara, please? Sorry. I don't want to use the Milberis one. Now bring another behema. So this became an automatic toda because you said harei lai toda. Now you bring another behema, third behema, and what do you do? Vilese shmonim ada. Now you bring eighty. Vilema ihach dekaima tmurahi hani tarti todos. These two behemas are todos. Vah shmonim de tarvayu forty and forty. Vihach dekaima todahi vahadamre alai. The one you said alai is nami lave toda. Vashmonim, like this. And this last one is an achrayus for this one. It's in case this one becomes bad and it doesn't need bread. Says in Mara, that's a good idea. You could do that. The only problem is that the Torah says not to make extra nedars. Amar lei, ha Torah, ma Torah, shalotito, mishatito, relote shalim. Better not to make extra nedars and say hare alai. It's very nice. You solved that problem. Better not to make nedars. At Amar leikum velininu dar betchila. You said to make nedarim. Therefore, we don't have a solution, and therefore, we're back to the beginning, that if you have an animal, and you have a tmura and a toda, and one of them dies, and you don't know which one is left, like we said yesterday, you're stuck, and you have no solution, and you have to wait and let it die. Good? Zok the Mishnah. Ha'omer harei alai toda, yavihi v'lachma min achulin. As we're going to see, when we're talking about achulin money, we're talking about either regular money, or money that was meiser sheni. What's meiser sheni money? We know again that if you're outside of the base of Mikdash, if you're outside of Yerushalayim and you have Maeser Sheni, you can redeem the Maeser Sheni and put it onto money. So that money now, which is Maeser Sheni money, so that status of that money, the Gemara is going to say, I have Maeser Sheni money. You bring it to Yerushalayim and you buy food and you eat the food. The question is, can you take this Maeser Sheni money and buy a Toda with it in Yerushalayim? So the Gemara says, Are I Toda? If I say Arei Lai Toda Stam, then I have to buy, again, you could always buy from Hulin. The question is, can you also buy, in certain cases, from the Maeser Sheni money, which is this. So Arei Lai Toda Yavi Hi Min Achulin, you cannot buy it from Maeser Sheni money. Toda Alai Min Achulin Velachma Min Maeser. Here where I don't say, right, the first case I just said Stam, Arei Lai Toda, Stam means you have to buy it from Hulin. If I say the Toda is from Hulin, then the Lachem is from Maeser, Yavi Hi Velachma Min Achulin then the lechem is still batel to the toda, and as long as the toda has to come, because you say it's coming from chulin, then the lechem has to come from chulin as well. Toda min ha-maiser v'lachma min ha-chulin, yavi, if you say toda from maiser and lachma min ha-chulin, then the toda can come separate from the lechem, therefore the toda can come from maiser, but the lechem can't follow along from the toda. And you can bring the toda from a maiser or from chulin. If you want the lechem, starts to come from chulin. The only case where you can bring the lechem from maiser is if you say that the toda and the lechem should come from maiser, then both of them can come from maiser. He velachma min a maiser yavi. 
So again, as long as you as long as you stipulate that the toda should come from Iser, even if the lechem doesn't come from Iser, the toda can come from Iser. But in order for the lechem to be able to come from Iser money, you have to go ahead and you have to stipulate that both the toda and the lechem will come from Iser. Because if you say toda from Chulin and Iser and the lechem from Iser, then the lechem is going to follow the toda. It's going to have to come from Chulin as well. And even in that last case where we say that if you say you're going to bring both from Iser, then you can bring even the lechem from Iser. Even in that case, you can't bring actual Meiser Sheni Lechem. You have to bring money that you went ahead, as we'll see. You have to bring money of Meiser Sheni, and then you can buy, as we'll see, there'll be a machlokas, and you go ahead and you buy Lechem with that Meiser Sheni money, and you bring it. That's what it seems like. Says the Gemara, Amar Funa, Ha'omer Harealai Lach Toda. Now, forget about Chulin Meiser for a second. Let's back up a second. If I say Harealai Toda, what does that mean? We know Harealai Toda means I have to bring a Toda. With lechem, by definition, and seemingly from chulin. Whatever you say, harei alai lach me toda. I.e., harei alai, I'm only going to bring the lechem of a toda. Do you have to bring a toda as well? Maybe toda v'lachma. By definition, when you say lach me toda, we know that you mean I'm going to bring a toda with its lechem. My time, a meida yada haigavar de lechem below toda lo Because everybody knows, including the guy who's speaking, that you don't bring lechem without a toda. For hai toda v'lachma ke'amar. When he says that I'm bringing the lach me toda, the lechem, really what he means is I'm bringing a toda with the lach me toda. V'hai de kamar lach me toda sof mil sandaka. Why did he say lach me toda? It was shorthand. He was saying, I'm bringing a toda with the lach me toda. He didn't want to say the whole thing. So he said, I'm bringing the bread. Obviously, if you're bringing the bread of a toda, you're bringing the toda as well. Tanan, toda min ha-maiser v'lachma min ha-chulin yavi. But our Mishnah says that if you say you're going to bring toda from maiser and lechem from chulin, then you can bring the toda from the maiser and the lechem has to come from the chulin. Kemashin nadar. Just like you said, that's what you bring. Vamai, why? Kevan de Amar Lachm in Achulin. When you go ahead and you say, Torah Toda mina Maisa Velachm in Achulin, Yavihi Velachm in Achulin. Everything should have to come from Chulin, because if you're saying that, well, we always go based on the last thing that you say. So if we're saying that really, in this case, the guy said, I'm bringing a Toda Velachm Toda. Therefore, what do I mean? I'm just going on the last thing, so Dover Nakat. So if I say, Toda mina Maisa Velachm in Achulin, when I say Lachm in Achulin, I'm clar- I'm clarifying that when I said Toda mina Maisa, it doesn't really mean Toda mina Maisa. What's the Gemara going to answer? It's different. In the first case, you only spoke about the Lachm. When you specifically say Toda mina Maisa and Lachm mina Achulin, that's what you mean. What do you mean you're clarifying? Yavi Velachm in Achulin. Shani Asim, the Chayvan Domar, Toda mina Maisa, Nasek Omer, Rehle Lachm, Lift or Toda Shaploni. And we know that if you bring a Toda, I can bring the Lachm, and you can separate the Toda and Lachm. Therefore, I specifically said the Toda is coming from Maisa, or the Lachm is coming from Chulin. And La Maisa, therefore I can bring the Toda from the Maisa. So don't ask any questions. Ihachi. Another question on this idea that we go based on the Sof Mil Sanaket. Reisha Diktani Toda Min Achulin Velach Min Maiser Yavi He Velach Min Achulin. If you say Toda from Chulin and Lachma Min Maiser, so why now are we going on the end? Hachanami Nasa Kumar Oyel I Toda Lifter Lachma Shal Ploni. Hachiasha Bishma Lechem Lemifter Toda Asi Toda Lemifter Lechem Mi Asya. You can't say that what? So what's the question? And let him bring what? Let him bring the lechem from Maiser Sheni. If you're saying that we always go, right? If we're going towards the end, why can he not bring the lechem? If the lechem and the toda are separate, like you just said, then the lechem should be able to come from Maiser Sheni, even if the toda comes from Chulin. Says the Gemara, no. lechem lemifter toda asi. Toda lemifter lechem miyasi. No. The lechem is always secondary. That's why toda, like we said, can come from Maiser Sheni when the lechem comes from Chulin. But the lechem can never come from Maiser Sheni if the toda is coming from Chulin. Tashma. We're going to go back and again. Haromer harayal I toda below lechem. Let's say, I say. So we said harayal I toda. You have to bring a toda and lechem. Harayal I lach me toda. You have to bring a toda and lechem. Right? Because you didn't specify, and you know that even if you just say harayal I lechem, you're meeting a toda. Let's say I specifically say harayal I toda below lechem. Now I'm going out of my way to say I want to bring the toda without lechem, which I know I'm not allowed to do. Or vizevach below nesachem. I want to bring a zevach below nesachem. As we had before, we force you to bring lechem with the toda. Taima de amar toda. What does that imply? The reason you have to bring the toda is because you said toda below lechem. Avalo amar toda lo. It sounds like if you would just say I'm bringing lachme toda, we wouldn't force you to bring a toda with lechem. But you just finished telling me Rafuna that what when you say harei alai lachme toda, we force you to bring not only the lechem but a toda with it. It implies over here we only force you to bring both. If you say harei alai toda below lechem, then we force you to bring the lechem as well. But if I just say harei alai lechem, sounds like we wouldn't force you to bring the toda. Says the Gemara, who had dinafagav de la mar toda? No, 
We force you even if you didn't say toda. Why did he give the example of toda below lechem? It didn't have to say toda below lechem. It could have just said that if you say arei alai lechem. You always force the guy, even if he says below lechem. Why did he have to say it? He needed to say toda below lechem because by zevach below nesachim is where it goes. Because if you say arei alai zevach below nesachim, we force you to bring the nesachim. But let's say I say arei alai nesachim below zevach. We don't force you to bring a zevach. Because there are cases where nesachim come without a zevach. So it doesn't use the example that we would have used, Harei alai lach toda, because the lacha by lach toda would be different than saying Harei alai nesachim. Harei alai nesachim, we only have to force you to bring nesachim. You don't have to bring a toda. You might just want, you don't have to bring a korban. You might just want to bring nesachim. But if you say Harei alai lach toda, in achanami, the lach would be like Rafuna, which says that you have to bring the toda as well. So again, it comes out anytime you say Harei alai, anything to do with toda, you got to bring the toda. We're going to force you. Harei alai toda, toda and lechem. Harei alai lach toda, toda and lechem. Harei alai toda below lechem, toda and lechem. Doesn't matter. No way around it. Anytime you mention the word toda, you're toast. That's it. Yeah. Says the Gemara. Sorry, I'm trying, I'm trying. Says the Gemara. Amai, neder pischo imohu. But it's a neder with an opening. That says, ena chanami. I understand lach me toda, you have to bring a toda and lechem. I understand toda, if you say re la toda, I gotta bring toda and lechem. But if I say toda below lechem, I'm specifically what? I'm specifically making a neder, and tochidei dibor, I'm undoing that neder. Toda below lechem is you're killing the saying, I'm bringing a toda, no, I'm not. Mm-hmm. Bringing a toda, no, I'm not. I'm bringing a toda, no, I'm not. You shouldn't have to bring the toda. It's a neder upischo, the pesach, the opening to get out of it is emo. So why are we saying that a toda below lechem, you have to bring a toda and lechem? It's your way out. Amar Chizkiyo, you're right. In general, you're right. According to most opinions, you're right. Toda below lechem, you actually don't have to bring anything. Ha money, who is this like? Beit Shammai, he de Amri, Tafis, Lashon, Rishon. Beit Shammai holds that any time you take a neder, if you say, Hare alai toda below lechem, it's like you're saying, Hare alai toda, blah, 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 blah. We ignore the last part. Whatever you said first, then we ignore the last part. Says the Gemara, but you're right. According to the mainstream opinion, Harei toda below lechem, you don't have to bring the toda. But it's only according to Beit Shama, you say as Tavos Lashon Rishon, you grab the first Lashon, so it's Harei toda below lechem, we only care about the law toda. Did not Harei Nazir, Mina Grogos and Mina Davla. When he says Mina Grogos and Mina Davla, it's a weird thing to say. Why? Because it's saying Harei Nazir, what should you say? Harei Nazir Min Hagefen. Saying Harei Nazir Min Hafigs. You're allowed to eat figs as a Nazir. So you basically say, Harei Nazir, no, I'm not. Hareini Nazir, and I don't really mean. So what, Beit Shammai Omrim, what did you say? Hareini Nazir, blah, 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 blah. Therefore, Nazir. Ubeis Hilo Omrim, Hareini Nazir, no, I'm not. Ain't no Nazir. Exactly the same thing. Says the Gemara, that's one answer. So one answer is, why Toda below Lechem? Is it not a Pesach? He's saying, yes, it is, according to most. But this is within Beit Shammai, who says, we only grab the first thing you say. Rabbi Yochanan says another answer, Amar. Afilu Tema Beis Hillel. Our case of Toda below Lechem can be Beis Hillel. But Omer, because it's a special case, you're right. Beis Hillel would say that in a regular case of Toda below Lechem, don't have to bring the Toda. What happened in this case? He said Toda below Lechem. They told him, you know, by the way, you have to bring a Toda with Lechem anyway. Toda below lechem means that you're off the hook, according to Beis Hillel, right? To- Beis Hillel is going to go, Beis Shammai is going to say, you still got to bring the Toda and lechem. Beis Hillel is going to say, Toda below lechem is like saying nothing. And he says, oh, I didn't realize that. I thought when I said Toda below lechem, I don't know that Toda comes with lechem. What do I know? I, I, just, I, just, I just joined the, the tribe. Be Omer, ilu ayisi yodea she'en no drinkach, lo ayisi no drinkach, elakach. He says, no, if I would have known, I would have never said Toda below lechem. So according to Beis Hillel, he agrees in this case that we force him because he admits that had he known that you're not supposed to say Toda below lechem, he wouldn't have said it and he would have said Toda belechem. He's ignorant. He doesn't know the halacha. Since he admits to not knowing the halacha, that's why what happens? Now he goes home to his wife. His wife says, what do you do? Why did you just agree? We just joined the tribe. Give us a break. Like we need to save up some money. And she says, why did you just say you're going to give a toda with lechem? And now he comes back and says, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Then we say kofin. Umay kofin de kaba'i haderbe. If he wants to go back after he speaks to his wife and he wants to come back, once he admits that he would have given the pledge anyway, then Lamaisa has to give it. But that's only if he admits he would have given the pledge. If he doesn't admit that he would have given the pledge, in a chanami. If a guy says toda below lechem, a regular guy who knows what he's talking about, doesn't have to bring the toda. According to Beit Shammai, he does. Tashma, we have a proof for Chizkiah, a support for Chizkiah, who again said that this whole thing is Beit Shammai. Omer, Reel, I told the below lechem, v'zevach below nesachim, v'omer lo havei toda v'lachma v'zevach u nesachim. Now here's another thing. V'omer ilu ha'yisi yodea, shekein lo ha'yisi noder kofin oso. 
that only works within who? Within, within well, not only within Beit Shammai, within Chizkiah. Because now we're adding these five or six extra words. Elo aisi yodeh shakein lo aisi no der, still kofen so. According to Rabbi Yochanan, we only force him when he says, I would have done it anyway. According to, right, and then it works even with Beis Hillel. According to Chizkiah, even if he doesn't admit to having done it, once he says the first few words, even if he says, we still only say, you're right, in the first b'risa, there's a way to learn it like it's Beis Hillel, but I agree with you that in the second b'risa, it's clearly going only within Beis Shammai. My Shama Vishamata, in this last case, when he says again that Harel I told double Olechem, and he says, if I would have known, I wouldn't have made the Neder, we still say Kofen or so, which is Beit Shammai. What does it mean, Dechsiv Shama Vishamata? What does that mean, Lo Ayisi, No Dekach? What does it mean, my Kofen? That we're going to force him, and we say Shomer v'shamata. Amar by Shomer have a toda v'shamata have a lachem. You need to bring a toda and lachem. Rava, they're un, they're not arguing. Rava Mar also Shomer have a toda v'lachem. V'shamata shalote ragi lasos kain. Just a shamata is just adding that. Don't be so quick to make so neders because you're going to get yourself in trouble. Fine. This is as if it's two dots. He v'lachem in a meiser yavi. If you say we said the only case you're going to be able to bring the lachem from meiser money is if you say I'm going to bring the toda and the lachem from meiser sheni money. Then I can bring both from from meiser sheni money yavi. That sounds you have to bring it from Isir Shani money. Says him, you can't bring it from Chulin? No. No. When we say that you bring it from Isir Shani money, it doesn't mean you have to. It just gives you the option. In the other case, you don't even have the option to buy my, to buy it with my Shani money. If in this case where you say I'm going to bring the Toda Velach Me Toda from Isir Shani money, then you have the option. You could still always buy it from Chulin. But if you want, you can buy it from Isir Shani money. Finally, Lo Yavi Mechite Isir Shani Limos Isir Shani. When we said that when you go ahead and you have this ability, when you say, Toda v'lach me toba mina maiser. So we said in that case, you're allowed to bring both the Toda and the lach me toda from maiser sheni. What did we say it means? It means you could only buy the lach me toda from maiser sheni money. You can't actually go ahead and take chita, that's maiser sheni chita, and make it into bread and use that. That's already too far. Says the Gemara, Rav Nachman Rav Chisad Amri Tavai, Lo Shanu Ela Mechitei Maiser Sheni. When it says you can't use Chitei Maiser Sheni, it means you can't just use Chitei Maiser Sheni. Ava Mechitei Na Lakuchos Mimaros Maiser Sheni Yavi. But you can actually go ahead and purchase Chita with Maiser Sheni money and use that Chita. Yosef Rabbi Yirmiya Kamei Derav Zera VeYosef VeKamar Lo Shanu Ela Mechitei Maiser Sheni Ava Mechitei Na Lakuchos Mimaros Maiser Sheni Yavi again. Amar Le Rabbi Ata Omer Kain Rabbi, do you hold of this that the Maiser what you just can't go ahead and take Chita Maiser Sheni Chita, but you can buy Chita with Meister Shani and process it yourself with 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 Meister Shani money says Rabbi Amar Le no Ani Omer Afilu Mechitin Al Kuch Mos Meister Shani Liyavi no I hold not only can you not take Chita that's Meister Shani Chita and use it you can't even use the Meister Shani money to buy Chita and make your own bread so what do you have to do with this Meister what does it mean that you can bring it from Meister Shani money you can go out and you can go buy ready made loaves of bread. But you can't even buy chita with this Maiser Shani money and use it to make the bread. Why not? I'll tell you my reason and your reason. First I'll tell you your reason, and then tomorrow's I'll tell you my reason. Says your reason that you're allowed to go ahead and again, if I say that the lechem is for Maiser Shani, I'm allowed to take money and buy chita to then make the bread. But I can't actually go ahead and take chita and use it, but I can buy, right? I can't take Maiser Shani chita, according to the first opinion, but I can buy chita with Maiser Shani money and then make it into bread. Why am I allowed to do that? Because the toda mehecha koyavaza. How do I know that in general, a toda, a korban toda? How do I know that a korban toda? Because again, I could definitely buy the korban toda with Maiser Shani money if I say, he velachma mina Maiser. So if I could buy the toda, how do I know in the first place I could buy a toda with, with Maiser Shani money? We learn it from Shlamim. How do I know that Shlamim can be bought with Maiser Shani money? Says the Gemara, Ushlamim sam sami maiser. Is it sam or sham? Sham sham sami maiser. We learn from maiser that I can buy the shlamim with maiser sheni money. So once I go buy the shlamim with maiser sheni money, what? I could also buy a toda with maiser sheni money. So now I could actually buy a toda with maiser sheni money. The question is now the bread. Do I actually have to buy the bread with Meiser Shani money, or can I even buy the chita with Meiser Shani money? Umina, ma shlamim ain gufan Meiser. When I buy that shlamim with Meiser Shani money, the shlamim doesn't become Meiser Shani. It's just now a regular shlamim that was bought with Meiser Shani money. Av toda nami ain gufan Meiser. So to when I buy a toda, it doesn't become. The point is that you can't bring Meiser Shani on the mizbech. 
So you let it go ahead and buy the toda with Maiser Shani money. It doesn't become Maiser Shani. I could take that shlamim or that toda and bring it up as a korban. The question is, according to this guy, now when I buy the chita, so this opinion is going to hold, when I buy the chita, this chita doesn't become Maiser Shani chita. Therefore, what? I can go ahead and take the chita and grind it up and make bread and bring it on the mizbech. V'hani chiti ala kuchos v'masos Maiser Shani nami ain gufan Maiser. Now we'll have to see tomorrow, but seemingly, without seeing the rest of the Gemara, what he would seemingly say, Rebbe, would say, I hold that what? Seemingly, when you buy something with Meister Shani money, it itself becomes Meister Shani. We'll have to see how he deals with the Shlam and the Toda. And therefore, if, if he buys the Chita, it, it by itself becomes Meister Shani. Then the question becomes, that's why, according to him, you can't actually buy the Chita and use it. You have to buy bread that was already made and not the Chita itself. Okay, one second.